Zealand. So I completely agree, and I'm so glad that you mentioned Sue because she was the X factor for me. Here's Sue with the rock right on cue. She'll give it up down low to Quo, but she runs into some tough defense from Fo too. But the mistake here is Sue had her mind made up. She did not take the time to read the situation and give her teammate time to get make that dive. Here's Ella Fo too diving to the rim. Took him on a test drive, and now Fo too being tested defensively herself. Holds her ground against Chen, hands it over to Hippo Light. Hippo Light on the baseline. Hippo Light out to Fo too. Ella. No, left it short. Robotti fighting for the rebound. She hits the deck. Hopefully she didn't hit her head. Oh, no, she's fine. Everything's good. I'm just, I'm, I'm more worried for the court than I am for Robotti. <laughs> well, she's, she's as tough as nails. Well, she's got her hair in the bun. That, that serves multiple purposes. So if you start, <laughs> if you're worried about hitting your head, you got some extra cushion. Me and you don't have that. We we won't have hair on the back of our head pretty soon. Oh, foo! Oh, two. She just put her in the shaker. Two. Two's two makes it two two. Here's McGoldrick runs into a double team. Here's Ella. No, not that time. Chain. She'll clear it with Sue. Right back to Chin. Chin. Nice pass. That's the look you want, but that one's airmail. Chin still with possession of the rock. Late in the shot clock. It's a violation. But good early signs from Chinese Taipei. But here's a look at Ella. 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 A. Eh, 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 eh. I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed by McGoldrick's uh, performance so far, and I, I hope for the sake of uh, the game's quality and the potential final, in case, of course, uh, we, we would have a rematch between New Zealand and Australia, that she would elevate and give us the best of her abilities that we've known and seen previously in, in other tournaments. Here's McGoldrick. She's good at the free throw line. New, Zealand, New Zealand's lead at one. Sue with a two already under her belt. She drives to the baseline, runs into trouble. Out of bounds, it goes. Chinese Taipei all the way from the qualifying draw, I believe. Chinese Taipei. No, no, no the way direct qualifier. The, direct qualifier, right. yes. It was uh, one of the main advantages that they had in group play. Now it's Sue. Little long, the gold ring. Confiscates that Wilson down to Sean Pukerobati. That's the way you utilize advantage in the pain and Sue. Oh, that one swatted the gold ring. There you go. Robati. That's one she's got to make. That's an easy opportunity for the Tall Ferns. It's almost criminal to miss that one, knowing that she made the previous one and she was on her strong hand going right. But we're also underestimating the impact that they have to withstand before finishing at the cup. There is a lot of battling for position, and then you got to stay strong up to the very last second. Sue is going to get that, get that opportunity. I think as much as she wants. Her first step is unguardable. There's not, there's not a player on New Zealand's team that can stay in front of her. If she can convert on those layups, or let's say she becomes so disrupted to where they have to converge on her, that's what her teammates have got to knock down those 12 to 15 footers, knock down those twos. But if you're Chinese Taipei, that's where they make a difference in a game like this. Let's take it one step further, Kyle. If you're that dangerous coming off pick and rolls, for example, that's when you can have the two-lady connection with Chen. This time, Sue with the step back. I think she bailed the defense out a little bit that time. Agreed. And uh, they need to get to, to this spot where they're patient enough that they're looking to execute because Chen hasn't touched the ball yet, and she's their best player. Well, right on cue, she does get it now. She's operating from the free throw line, extended. Cookies. Oh, Hippolyte, she's a cookie monster. 
She's eating the ball up like packed lady. I got to work on my sound effects. That roar you gave earlier, that was just. That, that I gave. That, that roar you gave, I. <laughs> that I gave. Yeah, I'm Mufasa out I, here. <laughs> you, you do you do Simba perfectly. I mean, by the way. I, I gotta be honest. That's pretty embarrassing. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have roared like that if I were you. <laughs> Five three. How about this connection between Robati and McGowick? Yeah, they got uh, got some nice chemistry going on. The two bigs for the tall ferns. Chinese Taipei though. I'd say so far so good in that this game isn't out of hand. They gotta somehow impose their will. But I'm, I'm intrigued. I haven't seen them try to play the two-lady action with Kuo or, or Chen. They're staying spaced out. Obviously, Sue is the one with the most success at that, but I don't really understand why we haven't seen in, uh, Chen more involved. Well, we're just past three minutes in. It's a two-point lead for New Zealand. Sean defending. Chen got some space. Missed it long. Quo skies for the rebound. Quo with a crossover. And McGoldrick get, getting low to try to get that one. Like the low, effort. Low, 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 low. Oh, you actually took it pretty low there. That was a good job. I think your voice might be deeper than mine. I told you my voice can go deep. Maybe we should maybe we should compete. Uh, I just start talking like this. Well, I just wanna all right. I tell you what, my, my my college coach, Jay John, he had like the deepest voice. We like, what, 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 what? I don't know what. We... It is the way it is. Sometimes <laughs> we're just gonna go there. I mean, you know us by now. It's the fifth day. If you're not That's used right. to us by now. That's true. That's true. We're competing over things that neither one of us can control. And, and all good at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how crazy it gets sometimes around here. 5-3. The thing that really matters, which is the game in front of us. Semi-final number two in the women's competition. Australia waiting on the winner. It was Australia against New Zealand for gold last year. Will Chinese Taipei change things up in 2024. Sue put the brakes on and broke them off some. Hits the 10-footer. One point game. It's 4 2 will give it up to Hippolyte. Hippolyte quickly down to McGoldrick. McGoldrick spinning. Shooting, missing, getting it back. McGoldrick tries again. It's a no. Chan with it. Clear. Top of the key. Attacking McGoldrick. Steps through. Draws the foul. Had McGoldrick on her heels from the start in that possession. That is a shooting foul in the fourth on New Zealand. Chinese Taipei with a couple of fouls as they trail it by one point. That could change here with this trip to the stripe by Chen. Oh, Chen cannot connect, so. Game Hippolyte. stays where it's at. Hippolyte. There you go. Sean. That's what they, that's where they need her. On the offensive board, being efficient around the basket. McGulrick could not block Paul. And we stay within one. Six five. Sue. Unselfish play, great defense from Sean. She was not in the mood for company. Rejection on, in the paint leaves 2.7 seconds left on the shot clock. The body like the Adams family looking monstrous in the paint right now defensively. Taking care of business. And had Sue had more time, she could have slipped that ball to her teammate, but she was Forced to take that shot. Obviously off target. So still a one-point contest as we get close to the midway point of this game. Four two. Three routes. Misses the layup though. Once she got to her destination, Chin from way out. Bang, bang! And the crowd getting involved. Chinese Taipei. 
in the driver's seat at the moment. Foto trying to feed it down low. I see that Hippolyte has hit the deck. She didn't do that by herself, so that whistle is against, is against Chinese Taipei. The third foul against them. Lauren Hippolyte gets to work. Up top to Sharn. Sharn swings it to Ella. Ella, layup is missed. She will get the loose ball and score it. Back to an even game. Even Steven. Oh, and an offensive foul. Yeah. Chinese Taipei moving. The, the problem is here, Sue is going too fast for her own good. She's not giving Chen enough time to clear the ball and then forces her teammate to get out of position. For two, get low, 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 low. For two, too strong for Sue. Oh. So, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Thank you later. 9-8. McGoldrick trying to clear some space. Great touch there from Ezra. Sue won't get a better look than that. Don't really, don't really agree with that dribble she took. Kind of got her out of rhythm. Just take the shot. You just made one. Let's take it. Coming from a shooter, he would know. What we don't know is who's going to come out on, on in the game like this. It's pretty tight. Chinese Taipei. I think they're executing the plan pretty good. They've kept the game in reach. They've even led here. And here we are heading down the second half stretch of this last semifinal. And they've given themselves a chance to maybe be playing for gold, which is unheard historic. of. It's history. It's, it would be historic for them. You mentioned they've never won a medal at this level of competition. They have not even reaching the spot that they've reached now here in the semifinals is uh, historic. They like to build on it. Sue starts the ball move, the down low to Quo. Oh, no. See, see what had happened was. And Kyle, the same way I mentioned it about Mongolia, let me, me, let me mention that again about Chinese Taipei. 22-year-old Chang, 21-year-old Quo, 23-year-old Sue, and 21-year-old Chang. The youth claiming top dog level in this competition. And Polite using the screen from Robati. Still a 9-9 tie. But Goldrick is fouled. So Chinese Taipei, who started off pretty well defensively, have now even New Zealand in the foul category. Each team with five. One more to give. 322 to play in the women's competition. After this is set, all of the medal games will then be set. As Chen gets a hand on it, Chen chunks the deuces. Nothing but oxygen. LFO2 recovers. Sean wants to go to work. Oh, she just gave her some work. Took her to school in a 10-9 contest. Whoa, with a quick step past McGoldrick. Chinese Taipei will not go away quietly. 10-10 game. Robati, ball fake. Drop step. Hacked. Whole lot of contact. Physical game. Delay of game, warning. That issue to Chinese Taipei. Another look at that last drive from Kuo. Nice move. One shot coming up for Shard Kapuke Robati. Member of last year's silver medal team and a member of the all tournament team. It's the second leading scorer. She gives her team the lead. And Chinese Taipei are gonna give New Zealand the ball back after a traveler's call. 2.42, it's approaching that time we commonly call crunch time. Four two, 
Good look. Gets the board. 4-2. Down low. Uh-oh. Mismatch City. That should be barbecue chicken. <laughs> Scrumptious. Easy money. Finger leaking good. And now it's plus two. New Zealand in control. For how long? And that's a tough shot. You, Chinese Taipei need better possessions than that. Zealand defending so well on that baseline. And that's oh. the mismatch again. Oh, Sue's just being abused down there. <laughs> he called the authorities. Oh, man. I, I remember the days when I was matched up with Russia and Ukraine and those kind of physical teams, uh -huh. man. Seven footers, heavy boned, and just having to battle for position. You'd like, ugh. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you leave the court just bruised up. Just horrible. That's when she can even the playing field. Out deep, she misses it. Risky pass down to Quo. Quo, uh-uh, McGoldrick said, talk to the hand. Four two looks off the defense and watches that one splash in from beyond the two-point arc. 14 to 10 with a minute 30 to go. Sue. She's fouled by McGoldrick and is not happy about it. But New Zealand have gotten breathing room at a critical point in this game. It's been tight throughout, and, and now they lead by four. And uh, Fotu came alive in this game. She has six right now. And um, her outside shooting at this time in this game is become, becoming critical. She's being very physical as well. And... Uh, it's something that they need. Imagine that New Zealand is a minute and some away from a rematch against Australia in the final, having not played its best basketball so far. Could they keep the best for last? That's my question now. Well, they, they will need their best for last because Australia is playing with a lot of confidence. They haven't lost anything yet. New Zealand haven't sealed this yet. Chin. Trying to get a shot up, tough one, and misses it. Each empty possession takes a little bit of the air out of the sails for Chinese Taipei. As we get closer to that minute mark, they need, they need something to go well. A steal in a bucket, a two would be huge for Chinese Taipei. Meantime, if you're New Zealand, this is a time where you kind of want to tighten your grip around the, their neck. And not let go. Yeah. Be, this is where you want to be sharp. You want to put together a really good possession. Make this, a instead of a two-possession game, a three-possession game. Not much choice late in the shot clock there, so important situation here for Chinese Taipei. They get an easy bucket. Miscommunication defensively paid in full. They were worried about the two-point shot from Sue. That would oh. be a foul from Chen, not called. They let the game be physical. That was a grown woman bucket right there from McGoldrick. Oh, she was being hugged out, too. Oh, fit, going through the physicality, staying strong in the drop step. Uh-uh. You got to be quicker than that. 12-second shot clocks in 3x3. They run out of time. And Chinese Taipei won a timeout. They want to discuss it, talk it over with 35 seconds left. They aren't done yet, but things are looking bleak. Got a capacity crowd here at OCBC Square. It's getting fuller and fuller. You got the balconies behind us that all filled up. The stands are, well, I'd say 80%. What do you think, Kyle, about that, 80? Yeah, that looks about that looks about right. But if you count the people uh, behind us, they could be sitting in the stands. I think they had to buy tickets today, though. You're much more comfortable on our left and right in the stands than on the balcony standing up, though. There's a miss. 22 seconds left in this game. Chinese Taipei down by four. This is where. They got to design something or certainly run something that's going to get them a good look at two. And they got to make it. But this possession right now is so critical. Oh! <laughs> that was longer than a speech. They need a steal, rebound. 
13-15. Sean is fouled. Chin had no choice but to. Chinese Taipei fighting, clawing, scrapping to try to get to that gold medal game. It's gonna depend on how Sharn does at the line here. One make will pretty, pretty much put it away. Oh, but wait a second. 7.5 seconds. Up. Ooh, it's 7.5 ticks left. We've seen crazier things happen. But I don't like the fact that they picked Sue to go to the rebound and Chang is on the outside. Secure that board before thinking about anything else. Sean does knock down the second. That makes it a three-point game. They would need a two and a foul. They do get the foul while shooting two. It's four two. Just, I don't think you play it def defensively like that because even if she hits the two, it's let's no let, problem. Just let her. Let the clock go. So a bit of a mental mistake right there from, from LFO2, but it doesn't look like it'll cost them. It Chin. shouldn't. Chin. Even if she makes it, it shouldn't, because 2.3 seconds, you need a miracle, like a, bow, a ball bouncing on the rim and coming right in the hands of Sue. Well, but you, if you're Chin here, do you intentionally miss? Yes, you miss it flat, straight rim, and try to tip it back to, to Sue behind you. It's over. Now she makes them both, and that is going to end it. A one-point victory. New Zealand get it done again by a margin of one point in the semifinals. They're going back to the gold medal game to do battle with a familiar foe, Team Australia. It is the Tall Ferns and the Gangaroos in back-to-back -back years playing for gold at the Asia Cup. Again, the final 16-15 over Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei are not done yet. We will see them play in the bronze medal game against Mongolia. But the gold medal match is set and ready. Cannot wait for that. We gotta handle things in the men's competition. But before we move any further, the Czar is standing by with LFO 2.